Hello, and welcome to another edition of the Extreme Performance Series. My name is Todd Muirhead. Uh, I'm a part of the uh, VMware engineering team, and today I'm here with Mark Atmanchuk, or as I like to call him, Mark A. <laughs> Thanks, Todd. How are you doing, Mark? You gonna introduce yourself real quick? You bet. Uh, so I also work in the performance engineering team. I've uh, been with VMware here a little over 11 years, I think, doing, doing that same thing exploring performance and uh, just love it because it pulls together so many different things from application to hardware to obviously the, the vSphere layer. So uh, really excited to be a part of educating folks out there and sharing all of the great performance information we come up with as a team. Well, I know you spend a lot of time working with some of our uh, customers on some of the really toughy, tough situations that they come into with extreme performance, like we're talking about. And uh, I think that your topic today is gonna, gonna touch on that. So what, what, what are you gonna talk about today for, with us? You bet. Well, you know what I find interesting uh, coming across all the customers is, you know, that idea of network, which was kind of the old whipping boy, right? It was always the network's fault. And I think in virtualization, a lot of people kind of really don't understand how it works. And so often they blame it again. Uh, but I've been doing a lot of work recently here with you know, low latency applications, latency sensitive workloads, and kind of just wanted to highlight a couple of tips and tricks about kind of validating that network path health, you know, so you can kind of move on to bigger and more complex problems than that. So that's my idea to share today. Very, very interesting. Yeah, I've heard you talk about this some before, and um, it's always good to, to hear it from you because you do a great job of, uh, of explaining it. Well, thank you, Todd. Well, here, let me uh, pull up a diagram to help us out here a little bit. Uh, see if I can work my PowerPoint wizardry. So really what I think is interesting kind of in the network stack is you look at this picture and you see it as you know, pretty complex. And there's two really important pieces to network performance. And first is actually processor, right? Because we're doing work on behalf of the guest or you're processing packets inside of VM. And so that vCPU or scheduling those vCPUs without contention is really important to network performance. And then the second piece is obviously, you know, the network stack itself. And typically most models, right, we're using pair-virtualized driver inside the VM, VMXNet3. Um, but we're doing, again, a lot of work on behalf of that VM because as the packet is processed in a VM and then leaves it, we touch it again as we you know, push it out through the physical interface. And then on the receive side, same thing, we receive it from the physical interface and then push that up to the guest. And so what's important to understand is, is kind of that path, right? Who, who's transmitting, who's sending? And what's really important here, I, I think are two things. Um, one, all of these worlds that we're doing work on behalf of the VM, we wanna make sure that they're scheduled without contention. They're not at saturation. And if we look at those, and you know, net stats would be something we could use to take a look at that, that helps validate that health, right? If, if we're not seeing any transmit saturation and we're not seeing any receive saturation of those threads, good, clear health. And the other thing is, you know, drops and the latency sensitive world I've been spending a lot of time in. And the idea here is, you know, it's say UDP packets, right? We can't afford a lost UDP packet. And so we wanna look at recording those drops and we can see those at the physical NIC, we can see them at the virtual NIC. And again, net stats would be a good tool to look at that. And again, look at it in the transmit and receive side. And as long as again, we're showing no drops at the VM layer or the physical layer, that again, kind of clears that health. So, you know, there's kind of this quick idea of, you know, network is simple to configure and kind of simple to validate it's being successful for you. Uh, you know, if you take a look at those two worlds, uh, the worlds and the drop packets, and just kind of follow it from transmit to receive side. So, so Mark, you mentioned you mentioned net stats. Are there other tools that that you use to do this monitoring, or is it mostly just net stats? It would be mostly net stats. You know, from the host side. So you could look at you know your in guest data, right, and that's going to show you you know drops being reported by the virtual interface and stuff like that. But it's not going to be able to show you anything about the work that the hypervisor did, right? So our poll worlds for receive on the physical NIC or the transmit worlds. And so net stacks is really required on the host, right? Using the shell interface to take a look at it. And so, you know, typically you you'd spark up net stats, uh, you tell it to, you know, watch for five or 10 seconds and it's gonna throw back, you know, a report for you. 
Uh, and you can take a look in there at exactly all the different layers, all the different uh, threads, all the different utilization. It's actually a lot of information, nearly overwhelming. But um, if you want to learn more about that, uh, certainly check out this world or this year's VM world. Uh, we'll be covering some more of that in our uh, extreme performance series best practices session there. Okay, awesome. So yeah, so you, you mentioned that, that there's gonna be a VMworld session, you're gonna cover networking, but other topics as well, I guess. Yeah, as always, you know, we, uh, Valentin will be joining me and we'll be looking forward to sharing with you, you know, some of those good best practices. We try to do something different year over year, so it's not a re repeat, uh, but if you kind of look at the previous years and build up to this one, uh, I think you'll see some great learnings along the way. And we have a couple of surprises in store for you for this year. Cool, well, we're, I'm sure I'm looking forward to it. I'm sure that other people are looking forward to seeing it as well. And with that, I think we're done for today. Um, I encourage people to check out um, the Extreme Performance Series, uh, other uh, additions that are out there. And uh, that's it for today. Thank you. Thank you.